بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. We praise Allah سبحانه وتعالى and we send blessings upon Muhammad عليه الصلاة والسلام. The Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام says إذا دخل شهر رمضان فتحت أبواب الجنة. When the month of Ramadan commences, all the doors of Jannah are spread open. Allah Akbar. This means that the best time to work hard to get a chance to enter Jannah is in the month of Ramadan. And when we say work hard, is by doing good deeds. Good deeds that are prescribed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in the sunnah of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam. Brothers and sisters, Jannah requires people that are focused, people that are dedicated, people that have target in their life. They have a sense of direction in their worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not those who are carried away by the wind. If they go here, they are pious. If they go there, they are impious. Al-Mudabudabayna bayna dhalika. La ilaha ula wa la ilaha ula. Allah described some of the characteristics of the munafiqun, the hypocrites. If they go here, they are pious. If they go somewhere else, they are impious. If you want to go to Jannah, you need to have a sense of focus and a direction in your acts of worship. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, when he went to the journey of Isra wal Mi'raj, he had the footsteps of Bilal in Jannah. When he came back, he asked him, Ya Bilal, ma arja amalin amiltahu fil Islam. Which of the deeds of Islam are you doing that made me to hear your footsteps in Jannah? That means you are in Jannah already, Bilal. What did Bilal answer? He told the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, whenever I break my wudu, whenever I break my ablution, I renew my ablution and I pray to Raqqa. Whenever this happens to me, whenever I happen to break my wudu, I perform ablution again and I pray to Raqqa. Only this. This shows what? Focus. Bilal was focused on this particular act of worship and he made it as a, as a, as a, a secret act of worship between him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you happen to see a hadith like this or you hear a hadith like this, what comes to your mind? What act of worship do you have between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What act of worship that you ha do you have in your life that you can say with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his mercy on the day of judgment, I can enter Jannah by the help of this particular act of worship. When the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam says, Futihat abu Jannah, he said all the doors of Jannah are open. He did not say Futihat babu Jannah, the door of Jannah is open. One of the lessons is Jannah has many doors. Jannah has many doors, not only one door. And all these doors, they have specific name meant for specific people. Those specific people are those who fulfill the commandments and they fulfill the features that it takes to pass through that particular door. One of the doors of Jannah is Babu Salah, the door through which those who are keen in their prayer in this world, they will enter through Jannah. Because Salah, the prayer, one of the biggest connections you have with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is through prayer. That is why Allah says, Wasjud waqtarib. Prostrate, i.e. pray, and you get closer to me, tabarak wa ta'ala. And the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said in a hadith, Akkarabu ma yakuna abdu li rabbihi wa huwa sajid. The closest position than a servant is closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in prostration. When your head is prostrated on the ground for the sake of Allah, tabarak wa ta'ala. So if you want to enter through this door, one of the things that you should do are as follows. Or some of the things that you should do are as follows, inshallah. Number one, you respect the prayer. Whenever it's time for prayer, you should know as a Muslim that I should pray. Because the Prophet ﷺ says, He said the difference or the distinguishing factor between Muslims and believers and those that are not believers is the prayer. Anyone who abandons the prayer has been removed from the fold of Islam. Allahu Akbar. So the prayer confirms your Islam. The prayer confirms your belief in Allah. So after believing that the prayer is on you, what you do next is you respect the prayer. Respecting the prayer is being punctual on time. When the Prophet was asked, what is the best act of worship? He said, As-salatu al-waqtiha. That is to pray at its right time. Allah says, Inna salata kanat al mu'mina kitaba mawquta. The prayer has been made on the believers at fixed times. So when it's time for prayer, my beloved brother and sister, regardless of what you are doing, leave it aside and go and pray. If you delay the prayer, you are reducing your chances of entering Jannah through Babu Salah. 
Because if you delay your prayer, like many people, you will not pray Salat al-Zuhur, like we call in Gambia, 2 o'clock. You will not pray Salat al-Asr, 5 o'clock. You will not pray Maghrib. Until you get home, you want to pray Zuhur, you want to pray Asr, you want to pray Maghrib and Isha, all together. Allah says, فَوَيْلُ لِلْمُسَلِّينَ Woe and punishment upon those who pray. Who? الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ Those who delay their prayer. So delaying your prayer is not a good sign of a Muslim. And that is reducing your chances of entering Jannah. Another, another sign of respecting prayer is you perfect your ablution. Before you pray, because one of the conditions for your prayer to be accepted is you have to be purified. The Prophet ﷺ says, لا يقبل الله صلاة أحدكم إذا أحدث حتى يتوضع Allah will not accept your prayer except you are purified through ablution. So perfecting your ablution is part of the prayer. And then thirdly or fourthly, is you wear good clothes. When it's time for prayer, wear clothes that are respectful, clothes that are neat. It doesn't have to be new or expensive, but it has to be clean and neat, at least as a beer minimum. Allah says, Ya Bani Adam, khudu zinatakum inda kulli masjid, aw kulli inda salah. Oh mankind, wear good clothing. Wear beautiful clothing. Make yourself presentable when it's time for prayer. This is showing respect for the prayer. And also, when you, when, you, when you stand to pray, if you want to enter through Babu Salah, when you stand to pray, like you are praying in the Gambia, you are praying in Senegal or in the UK or in the US, your, your body is in the US, your mind is in Guinea-Bissau. You are praying in Nigeria, your mind is in, is in Ivory Coast. This is not respecting Salah. Allah says, Qad aflaha al -mu'minun. Successful are the believers. Who? Alladheena hum fi salatihim khashi'un. Those who, when they pray, they are concentrated. They have humility, they have concentration, they have focus in their prayer. If you want your prayer to benefit you, st stop praying and daydreaming in your prayer. You say, Allahu Akbar, your mind is somewhere else. You say, Allahu Akbar, your, your mind is on the football match. You are thinking about what to have for iftar. This is not respect in prayer. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the chance to enter Jannah through Babu Salah. Because the Prophet says, إِذَا دَخَلَ شَهْرُ Ramadan, فُتِّحَتْ أَبْوَابُ الْجَنَّةِ When the month of Ramadan commences, the doors of Jannah are wide open. One of the doors is Babu Salah. That is the door for those who are keen on the prayer. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us steadfastness on the prayer. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.